post that we just put up. And we're going to take, uh, after we do this, we're going to take a five minute break. And I want to make sure you guys are getting some posts up to grab a snack um, and implementing some of these things to help you guys uh, build lists. Okay. So some of you guys were here on um, last Thursday at my workshop when I talked about going back to past customers. Uh, who has already gone back to a past customer? Raise your hand if you've already done that. Cool. So a handful of you guys have. Um, you guys should all be doing that. If you missed that last Thursday, do we have that up already um, from last Thursday's um, workshop? Okay. Um, I want to look. It's right. I'm going through life as a masterpiece. And then at the end, we talk about going back to past customers. So um, I want to make sure that we have that. But um, we have, a, a, you know, just to go back and talk to them. But she'll share some other ways to do it. For me, it was just going back and be like, hey, yeah, we need it. Like, I want to come over. Like, I need to chat. I got to tell you about what's going on and like catch you up on some stuff um, and letting them know. And by the way, I have a way for you to get some free cut codes. So don't worry, I'm not coming to sell you anything. Right. And so they were like, oh, okay. So I wasn't coming with a sales pitch. I was coming to like be like, how much free cut code can I give you uh, for how many people they gave me? Right. So an easy thing to go back to friends and family to say, hey, I'd love to meet with you. Be like, if we can get like 15, 20 minutes, grab a coffee. I'd love to catch you up on where I'm at with the company right now, where I'm going. And I actually have a way you can earn some free cut code. That was it. That's all I said to people. And I went back. And so who are those? Have you made a list of your top five, right? Like all you need is three to five good past customer visits, guys. And you just got another 100, 150 people, by the way. Because um, if you just got 20 to 30 from each of them, that's huge. And offering them free cut code is really easy. And I wish I would have had the app back then. So the app back then probably would have gotten hundreds uh, from just those three to five people from just them clicking, you know, but like handwriting takes a little bit longer to think about it more. Um, so that's a huge thing that needs to be happening. Another thing I know some people have put up Facebook posts and John and um, uh, Claudia will share, um, uh, you know, you guys know about how to do a post, but like, are you actually maximizing your full social media? Not just what they're going to go over now, but like during the push, right? And so I'd love for them, I, let me give, have you guys share some things and then I'll add any other things that we've done or our past people have done. So I'm going to hand it to Claudia and John real quick and then I'll add stuff in terms of building your list. And anyone else can also read the things you've done to collect more phone numbers. This is more of a brainstorm to make sure we're maximizing and building the list as big as possible. Uh, but for the, the first thing I'll say, um, and I've talked to a few of you already, like one-on-one, -on -one, including like branch managers um, and things like that. So uh, like Kathy said, finding those five people, and you should be writing those five people down right now. Uh, five people, whether they purchased something or they didn't purchase anything yeah, at all, uh, it does not matter. Alrighty, so five, those five people um, writing down their names right now. Um, and so when you're reaching out to these five people, like Kathy said, hey, want to grab some time to find, you know, 15 to 20 minutes uh, for us, to, for us to, to catch up. By the way, I'm not trying to tell you anything. I just want to, you know, genuinely connect and, and catch you up on how I've been, you know, and what's going on and see how things have, you know, been for you. Um, once you're in that meeting or you're on that call, uh, the, the most important thing is that you're saying thank you. Okay. Uh, the first portion is just thank you. By the way, thank you so much for ha having been taking the time out to see my demo or even purchase something um, or just, you know, spend time with me while I was, you know, getting the, getting the kinks out of my, my demo and things like that. Oh my God, I was probably like, you can crack a joke. Okay. Uh, ease the situation. Right. Um, but thanking them and then letting them know like your wins that you've had thus far. All right, I know some of you have been here, you know, uh, two weeks, doesn't matter if you've been here two weeks, one week, a uh, couple months, right? Catching them up on some of your, your wins that you've had thus far. Um, you've knocked out that first promo or two promos, three or even five, right? Um, you've been promoted maybe to assistant manager in training or assistant manager. You've met some new friends after this like post-apocalyptic almost like of what it feels like of a world, right? Um, and actually engaging with people your age who wanna do something more, like share those things with them, like what's going on. And then after you share like your wins you've had thus far, share what you're excited about next. So start painting vision. Alrighty, so what's next? Well, I'm actually currently in a competition right now and I'm working really, really hard. Like I'm out there with the best of the best this season. And my goal is to be on stage um, with top, some of the top sales professionals in the country. Um, and, I, and I know it can be done and I'm gonna be the one to do it, right? Just like sharing what it is you're excited about um, and tying them into that goal. And here's a really cool way, a really cool free way um, where you can help me out, okay? And then you're gonna ask again. So just like when we teach you the rec approach, we always ask, we say thank you, and then we ask again, 
All right, we say thank you and then we ask again. It's the same thing. Um, and that's what you're gonna do in this in this one on one. Uh, hey, just just so you know, here's a free way where you can really help me out. Um, you're if I'm you all guys, I'm asking for a minimum of 20 new recos, a minimum of 20 new recos and a Facebook post. All righty, 20 new recos and a Facebook post. Some people may say, oh, I don't have Facebook. Well, double it, 40 recos, right? Yeah, is by them helping you out in either of those submission, I'm, I'm telling, I'm letting them know it's one entry. Uh, you know, for either you do both, just two, you get double entry, you get the double dip, um, you know, into this drawing that you're doing. Um, so if you want to talk to your manager in terms of for what you're promoting, but I know my guys are promoting $200 shopping spree, uh, Cutco shopping spree. Um, and, and you can, so you can either raffle off that product that you're receiving when you get there. Um, you know, I know you, Kathy's going to talk to you about selling your shears and things like that later, but you can raffle off that product or you can give them an opportunity to choose something of their liking and just talk with your manager about how we get that taken care of. It's probably only going to cost you 40 bucks, 30, 30 to 40 bucks, but a hundred and hundred recs is worth way more than 30 to 40 bucks. That's a small investment for a huge impact in your business. All righty. Um, Kyle and Dante, these individuals out here, they're investing, investing thousands of dollars into their business, but they know it's going to pay off. So $30 is not going to hurt you. All right. It is going to help you uh, more than you know. So you're asking. Um, and for in terms of Facebook posts, we have these posts that are already generated. John's going to be sharing an amazing document with you all. Um, some of you already have it, um, but it's just uh, them sharing like, hey, uh, you know, uh, Alani, uh, she's a college student, you know, currently attending. Um, she comes over, does a really fun presentation. She's in a really big contest right now. It's a lot of fun. You don't have have to buy anything she gets credit just for showing it um, she has a goal of completing you know 50 appointments by um, August 8th and she gets credit just for doing it I'm, I've helped her out it's awesome you guys should totally see this that's basically what the Facebook post says um, and you want them to share a picture of you again a picture of you in your best lighting for those of you who've gone through training and heard me say this we want your vector impact score to be like an a1 credit score rating all righty so a picture that shows you the best lighting is it you and your cap and gown like it's something that's relatable like people already buy it into you before they see you um, is it a picture of you and your family is it a picture of you with the customer and them with their product right for those of you who have done in-person demos or just hopped on zoom and like just just hop on zoom and like take a picture with them in their cut cut like a screen share a uh, screenshot or something like that but you want them to share that because it speaks fun and what you all are doing it, it's it's a fun experience okay it's not a weird thing unless you look at it as a weird thing you wouldn't be here if you're still looking at it that way i'll tell you that now um and so have some fun like people want to have fun coming out of these past two years people are looking for an excuse to do something okay um and let them have like let your demo be the highlight of their day so um reaching out to those individuals uh, those five that you've written out now that'd be my first thing i'm doing you know once we're, we're leaving here scheduling a time to meet with them all righty um and sharing your wins thus far if you if you have trouble with like celebrating yourself or you're not too sure like what to share meet with us today before you leave here so we can give you some things that you're sharing with them okay um and then painting vision so what you're looking forward to um, throughout the duration of this push, you know, getting 1% better each day, becoming a better version of yourself, like leveling up. All right. So I can't name many people who hate a hardworking student or a hardworking young person um, who's aspiring to do better for themselves. There, there really aren't many people. If, if they're hating, it's because that's a self-reflection right, on themselves. Uh, and then just asking, okay. Um, asking and uh, using that contest, that free cut code. I know some of them, you probably still have their wish list too, by the way, they can purchase everything on their wish list by the way, they help you during the push. Um, and then they can also use that shopping spree to, to purchase Christmas gifts. All right, to purchase Christmas gifts. By the way, if you're not promoting Christmas in July right now, and managers, I don't think we're promoting it enough right now, um, either on our parts, that's our bad. Uh, Christmas in July, Christmas in July. They can knock out all of their Christmas shopping right now in the month of July, and it'd be paid off by December. And for those of you who saw those pretty neat gift wrap Cutco boxes that came here the other day, the company wraps gifts for $5 and they look beautiful. Okay, um, so that's uh, that was Aaron's order last night. His mom's already knocked out some Christmas in July uh, for for her neighbors. At that, um, I said, "Hey, who do you have any clients you want to appreciate? Any uh, you know business partners, friends, family, or even neighbors?" And she goes, "Oh, the neighbors." And so they ordered some like sheer sheer favorite gift sets and things like that and got them wrapped last night. But um, that's in terms of what I have to share in terms of the number one thing that you know our people are doing because, like Kathy said, it just takes three to five people to give you that, that hit list of over 100, 150. You should have 150, 250. Like those should be the numbers that you're shooting for in terms of having a nice size attack list. Um, I know John has a few things. 
um, that he wants to share and that he's taking notes because he's still a student too. So uh, make sure you're always taking notes. I need a bigger notebook. <laughs> I, I, I reached back for the school. The smallest, I, I was like, I don't know. About this. Uh, <laughs> no, but Claudia is right, guys. Uh, for those who didn't get the document, I sent it to Molly. Small, if you can send it out to the rest. Uh, to the Zoomiverse? Just, yeah, to the GM one. So if you guys can send it out to your people, um, that'd be great. I'm not going to sit here and go over every single one of them. You don't have to use it. This is just what I use. Cool. It worked very well for me. Uh, little, oh, thank you, buddy. Um, I lost my leads going in SC2 my first year of 2018. It's, yeah, I just lost my, because we had a rec bike. Yeah. I, did, I was not organized <laughs> and I lost it. I think I left it at a customer's home and I forgot which customer I would, uh, home I was at. And if you leave, you know, moms and dads, it's just a binder, you know, so it kind of goes in their student's binder, whatever it might be. So I did this, guys. I went back. Uh, I used Facebook. That was probably my biggest, um, biggest thing. And, and I kind of used it. In different ways um you know Claudia, the, you everything claudia said you guys do goes through to five customers absolutely free cut go get your customers excited um if you guys have those four pack of table knives from sc1 and you haven't sold them yet drop off one red table knife to a customer who gives you 20 30 40 recommendations those are basically let's just give it to them. one table knife guys well they're, they're gonna get fired up daniel's mom gets fired up every time she sees <laughs> table knife, right? so free cut go is better than no cut go um i want to talk a little bit about qualifying customers Yes. Cool. Um, this is big because you, you, you want customers, of course, but you also want the right customers, right? Like, you know, we want single people, things like that. Like, so whenever Mrs. Jones gives you 10, 20, 30, whatever it might be, asking questions about them. Okay. So the go to phrase I always start with is Miss Jones, if I was your son, who would you have to go see first? All right. And I literally sit there and ask, I'm like, okay, Miss Jones, like, how many kids does this person have? I assume everyone on that was married. And she's like, oh, they don't have kids. Like, oh, okay. Like, what do they do for work? Okay. Are they married? And I'm like, okay, not that I'm probably not, uh, most likely I'm not going to call them if they're not married, but at least I know that now. If I'm trying to do like a, if, you know, a big phone jam, you're prospecting three star, two star, one star. All right. And so um, are they married? What do they do for work? How many kids? I don't, I don't ask like, what do they cook? Now, if, if they're a good customer, but like, hey, do they host, do they entertain, do they have people over? All right. Money question. And she will start like, oh yeah, like and she'll start talking about her friends. And guess what is so easy? The phone call. Because when you already have things that you know about them and you can bring those up in rapport, the phone call is so much easier. And the minute Miss Kathy Grissom told me that, I was like, oh, I'm not the best at phoning. If I can make the phone call easier, I'm going to do that. And I was like, it made phone calls. You know, so it, it made sitting down and doing 50 to 60 phone calls in like an hour long, two hour span, so much more fun because I was, it was, it was talking to people I knew versus talking to people I really didn't know, if that makes sense. So qualifying your customers, guys, um, is really, really important. Uh, like Claudia said, bring up the, when you're sharing your goals, bring up the sponsorship again. So there, you reminded me of that the other day. I'm like, hey, Miss Jones, if you give me a hundred recommendations today, like you could become a 10 times sponsor. I see you gave me. 14. All right. So we got 86 left. All right. No, I'm just you know, if you can give me 50 from a five time sponsor, like bringing up the sponsorship, like the free way to help is great. Guys, do the raffle. I'm right. Daniel, you did the raffle last year. That, that's how we had over 700 recommendations, guys. All right. So, like, the raffle's fun. They get excited. Um, Claudia's absolutely right. People are looking for things to do, <laughs> people are Literally looking for things are. to get involved with. Okay. Um, and I think that's awesome. Uh, the question I always, whenever I ask my customers, like, when I'm calling them on the phone, I'm um, just catching up like, hey, do you have all 10 fingers? Okay, cool. You love your cut go. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. Miss Jones, by the way, like, do you like free stuff? Okay, cool. I called the right customer. Okay, cool. You like free stuff? Okay, well, and then you kind of go into your, hey, so. I got to check on my daughter. She's okay though. Um, yeah, and that, like, that question kind of gets them a little bit more excited. So when you bring up like what you're asking for, like, hey, um, do you have maybe like 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Can I stop on by? I was over 21, so I brought every customer a bottle of wine. I went to Trader Joe's, got two buck chuck, and I just went. Now, if you're not over 21, don't do that. Uh, but it was fun. It was just, it was really good. Great quality. Just, for two bucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't tell her it was two bucks. But I was like, hey, Miss Jones, if you really, if you give me more than two, uh, 20 bucks, I was like, two. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then just guys, use, use Facebook. I mean, the messages here, there's there's posts for family. Cool. Like, I have my mom post for me. She posted a picture of her cocktail. She didn't post a picture of me. Whatever. So we have a 22 minute video. Everyone needs to watch in the next 24 hours. It's going to watch up by Rain Saturday morning on up leveling your customer base. 
and it goes through qualifying leads and like oh, if you're live how to get yeses and then texting everybody and then follow okay so it's 22 minutes and will impact your business in a big way cool so I, is that the one you sent me the other day well, Thank you. if I add to John's uh, qualifying, I don't know, Kat, if you don't mind me using it as an example, Kate. Um, so the other day, so Kate was here doing a demo yesterday um, and she was speaking with a customer and um, and it came to Recos and, and customer was just, you know, she was being a tough cookie, like one of those. Um, and the lady's like, uh, well, I love my loose off. Um, I don't, you know. I, I don't really love Cutco or something like that. And and Kate, and Kate goes, Claudia, have you ever had a customer say they, they don't love Cutco? And I was like, in full transparency, I, I haven't. And it's simply because I've qualified my my recs, right? I was like, I'm pretty sure they didn't tell you she on Wustoff or she was some knife enthusiast or, you know, like she, she's been on the whatever channel before. Um, and I said, I, I haven't because I qualify my recs and I have fun while doing it. Um, guys, qualifying your recs, you cannot skip that step. It saves you so much, like as you're going into demos, as you're going into phone time. And some of the like fun, silly questions that I gave Kate, I was like, um, when I'm asking for the people that I want to see, I always ask for people who I aspire to be in front of. So I'd say, hey, do you know any business owners? By the way, any female business owners? Uh, and I get particular that are running their own business, like crushing it. You know, maybe I can get like mentor, even menteeship um, out of the process. I'm just looking to get in front of nice people. Uh, do you know anyone who who puts pineapple on their pizza, right? I mean, and they're like, ill, or they'll say like, oh my God, it'll just, it creates fun conversation. Oh my God, my cousin, like, you know, Michael and his wife, like they always do pineapple on their pizza. By the way, they make their own at home. So I know they cook. Um, I know I have a great conversation starter. Like when I'm calling for that demo, I'm like, hey, you know, Mr. and Mrs., you know, Mike Amerstein or whatever, uh, you know, Shan tells me that you guys do pineapple on your pizza. Like, are we at the end of the world? Like what's going on? Like I'm having fun with them. Like it's engaging it's conversation starters um i'm asking for for people i'm asking for educators still to this day i want to see educators again it's hard to name people who ain't a hard-working student or someone trying to do something better for themselves or someone who has impact and who's in a lot of rooms i'm asking for those people so ask for the people that you want to see all righty um it makes it 10 times more fun um you have more in common or they're teaching you something in the process like it's such a win-win situation and everyone's having fun so it really acts for the people that you want to be in front of that's why james rushing's client base um is what it is and i know he's speaking to you today maybe he can hit on that with you all um in terms of business gifting guys his customers include the owners of the texans the rockets um and so many oil and gas officials here throughout the state of texas because he acts for those people he say hey who do you know who works in engineering and he just start listing specific fields of engineering do you know any agriculture engineers do you know any mechanical engineers who do you know as industrial engineering and like oh you know so and so son and they started introducing him to those people. And now that's what his clientele is. And it's cool because he's trained his dad. Yes, I said that right. He's trained his dad, Jimmy, Jimmy. to do the same thing. All righty, and Jimmy being one of the top, you know, rising star representatives in the company uh, last year, it's never too late to start. So just ask for the people that you want to see you and who you want to be in front of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, direct messages. messages. You know, uh, you uh, I just, okay. Yeah, there's different categories. Uh, yeah, I did the family one that they can post. I did the three posts and then I did the, the DM for people that they know. Um, and then, and then there's a personal Facebook post. Like, uh, parents, friends. Like, oh yeah, parents, yeah. Howdy yeah. 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 hey, how do y'all? Hello all. You know, I, my son or daughter is what. Well, yeah. Is that yeah. next door app is on here? So for those of you in your communities uh, that Tom have Devin's that are on the next door app, it's Can all. That link already in the. Group? Uh, it's in the the district. Uh, the so, district and team. Molly put it yeah, in the yeah. Um, and then there's also the email for teachers and how to email yeah. teachers, and then there's. The phone approach, like everything, we, John put everything in one space for you all. So we just get to thank you, John, thank you, uh, John. for taking the time to do that. Um, but all of it would directly impact your business. And just ask us questions again if you need uh, help casting vision. And I, I just do this high five for customers. Hey, you got one? Yeah, woo! All right, cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, show, the video kind of shows up, but like, you know, whether it's asking questions, qualifying, or just I just have fun fist bump chest bump my customers. It's a good time. That's awesome. Hi, Hunter. All right. Uh, we